the heat on fur retailers at Plaza Frontenac. News 4's Craig Treadway has more on the fur controversy. Following a two-hour long picket line, anti-fur protesters decided to take a stroll through the mall, catching shoppers a little off guard and disrupting shopping briefly at one fur retailer. And we'd like to present you with this fur here and confront you with the realities of what goes on in the fur industry and the fur rate. The protesters left an animal pelt with fake blood on it as their calling card in the shop's doorway before leaving peacefully with mall security not far behind. The protest was sponsored by the St. Louis Animal Rights Team. And they say such protests are making a difference in the fur industry. I may not be able to say this specific event has had a certain impact and point to the impact, but overall, keeping the pressure on and letting the public know what happens to these animals and you know how they're trapped and how they're treated, that needs to be brought out. And I think that makes people think, and it definitely does have an impact in the overall attitude. Like many retail businesses, the fur industry is seeing a slowdown in sales. But many retailers believe it has little to do with anti-fur sentiment. Well, Absolutely not. They haven't made any dent whatsoever. It isn't them. If there's any dent, they had nothing to do with it. They'd like to think they do, but they really didn't. There are other materials, you know, and I mean, they have their right if they feel that strongly against it, I suppose. But, you know, for years and years, no one protested. It may take a lot to get customers who can't afford it to give up their fur coats and hats. But protesters say they're hopeful they can change that, if not drastically, at least one customer at a time. Greg Treadway, News 4, Frontenac. And still ahead on News 4 Nightside, find out why scientists want to test bone fragments from our 16th president. Animal rights activists are hoping to change public attitudes. About a dozen demonstrators marched outside Frontenac Plaza this afternoon. They are against what they say is the unnecessary horror, blood, and pain suffered by animals who are killed for their fur. The fur industry just subjects animals to excruciating pain. The majority of the animals are trapped with a steel jaw trap. This afternoon's picketing was in cooperation with a national campaign. Similar events are being held in more than 30 cities around the country. The main focus of the protests is to discourage Valentine's Day shoppers from buying furs. It looks like St. Louis is becoming a more diverse. And here's what else is happening tonight. Animal rights leaders trying to turn up the heat on fur retailers at Plaza Frontenac. Following a two-hour picket in front of the mall, about a dozen anti-fur protesters paraded an animal pelt past surprise shoppers leaving it on the doorstep of a first store. As always, both retailers and protesters disagree on the impact of such demonstrations. The animal rights movement has made a big dent in it. Um, there's no doubt, statistics will tell you, that the companies have gone bankrupt over the past few years. The biggest furrier in the country filed for bankruptcy about a year ago. We haven't noticed any difference in the number of people who come in and the number of people who are interested in furs, nor in the number of people who are buying furs. According to Chris Cox of the Animal Rights Team, today's protest was coordinated with at least 30 such demonstrations around the state.